Hey Virgo, this is Soul. And Virgo, this is uh, your March 2018 uh, general love and relationship uh, reading or messages. The messages or reading will be also for Virgo Moon and Virgo Rising. Okay, my fellow Virgos, I hope all is well. And I'm actually liking this uh, energy for some of the Virgos I'm about to read for. Uh, it's It looks pretty good. And uh, even though we do have the three of swords here, it's in the reverse position. And, you know, the only time I like to see the three of swords is uh, when it shows up in the reverse position. So it could be that that three of swords is showing up that somebody that I'm reading for Virgo has, you know, possibly ended a love triangle. And it was very painful to disconnect that energy from that um uh, that person or it could have been a person who was already coupled and they disconnected uh, their energy from you but I'm reading for you so I would have to stick by the first part of what I just said that you know getting over uh, some attachment to someone that uh, may have had a third party energy involved now whether or not that energy relates to um, you know Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, male or female, doesn't really matter. Three of Swords represents all zodiac signs in its energy. It's a very painful card. It did show up for another sign. I don't recall uh, which sign it was, but it was in the upright position. But for you, it's in the reverse position, and it's right here. And so it could be that, you know, some of you are getting over a split separation, possibly a divorce. Uh, finding out that you were, you know, caught up in a love triangle, if that's the case, because it is the number three. All right. But the overall energy for some of you and uh, the energy for the entire month uh, for some relates to the six of wands, which is victory and success. So there is um, victory and uh, success to be had when it comes to relationships. Now, this reading is for singles and it's for couples as well. OK, so whatever this six of wands means for you. Um, I like the direction that it is, you know, facing because it's like forging ahead, moving forward and whether or not the energy relates to victory and success uh, attached to fire signs. Gem uh, yeah, Gemini, duh. Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, male or female doesn't really matter. Someone is going to achieve some sort of victory uh, and success when it comes to relationship that could be existing relationships or new relationships as we do have cups here and i do have an ace here uh and also the star cards but anyway let me uh just go in sequence right now uh for you uh virgo and you have the queen of swords and she's in the upright so this is a month of determination so a month to be very successful and very determined and forging ahead with um connecting with new energies or strengthening uh current energies uh, partnerships uh the sword represents gemini libra aquarius male or female but it could be with any zodiac sign it could be just your energy uh, and being very, very uh, decisive and, you know, very determined um, when it comes to your relationships this month. And then it heralds uh, victory and success for you since it crosses the six of wands. Six of wands also too comes across, even though I'm staying focused on love and relationships, uh, traveling. So it might be that some of you are traveling. It could be someone traveling to come visit you um, and keep it in scope of, you know, relationships. All right. So it could be a fire sign coming to, you know, visit Virgo or Virgo going to visit a fire sign. And again, as I always say, it does not have to be, uh, you know, related to uh, any specific sign. There's just some sort of traveling or movement uh, taking place in the month of March. And it's related to relationships okay so someone is uh at a crossroads here uh and having to decide um uh, you know between two people there's a you know a little bit of anxiety and a little bit of conflict this is the two of swords in the upright and it's having to make a decision or a choice even though you do have what's you know that follows the queen of swords is the two of swords what precedes the two of swords i should say is the queen there's a lot of determination so like i said this is just the two and it's related to or an attachment to another person but it's only minor so i don't feel that you know you're going to be too stuck and being that there's uh the ace of pentacles underneath that two of swords there's an offering so it might be that there's two people that come through uh if you are single 
and the ace of pentacles is representing not only your energy but that energy of capricorn and taurus male or female and you might have to decide or you know pick and choose who's it going to be so look at it that way options being available for you this month um Virgo, this is you again, Seven of Pentacles, and this is all about options. I picked up in the last reading because this card showed up uh, for, again, I don't recall what sign. It's like the, you have to look at the flower bed that she's in, and she's like picking the best flowers or because she, she's picking the best because she has many options to pick and choose from. Take those flowers and use it as actual people, and this might be uh, what's presented to you in the month of March. Okay, picking the best that is presented to you. Now, it follows the two of uh, swords, but this might be an entirely different message and specific to a Virgo that I'm reading for that may have a choice between two people. Okay, now, four of swords. Wow, you have a lot of swords here. Four of swords is showing up here, and this is actually pretty good. This is, you know, for some of you, it may be taking a break from a relationship or it might be just uh, planning a um, getaway with your significant other. But th yeah, the six of wands is the traveling. So that's the getaway, even though this is, you know, normally the foundation of just planning the trip. But I do feel that you might be uh, planning the trip to uh, get away with your significant other. Again, it could be someone who's at a distance, who's, uh, you know. There's some sort of love connection and that person comes to visit you or you go to visit them. So the four of swords is, uh, you know, rest, relaxation, rejuvenation, vacation, taking time out for self, taking time out for partnerships, whatever that four of swords means for you. Again, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, it doesn't really matter. <clears throat> And definitely because the star card, hopes, wishes, and dreams, the final card that you have, and I'm going out of sequence here for a minute just to connect the dot. Star card is representing um, Aquarius, again, air sign. So I don't know if I'm reading for a lot of Virgos who are dealing with air signs at this particular time, but it doesn't really matter. This is the card of social uh, energy for me, social um, exchange. This could be uh, connections made or communications through uh, Instagram, Facebook, uh, online dating. Aquarius represents the star card. So it could be that someone meets someone that's online. But other than that, hopes, wishes, and dreams becoming fulfilled. Now, to go back in sequence, judgment, ending of criticism, self-criticism uh, towards you, doing it to yourself, or... Ending of criticism coming from other people towards you or partnerships. This is the card of awareness for me. What's hidden in the dark comes to the light. In the reverse, what was hidden came to the light. All right. That's the completion of that energy. Whether it was good or bad, it doesn't really matter. Uh, but this is the ending of some sort of judgment uh, either towards self or energy coming uh, from another person towards you. Stay focused on relationships and apply this energy. All right. Next up, following the judgment card, which is a major arcana I forgot to mention, is the Knight of Cups. Always like to see cups show up in a love reading. Okay. Knight of Cups is the knight in shining armor. All right. There is someone to um, possibly meet in the month of March if you are single and it could be a water sign cancer Scorpio or Pisces male or female and if it is this person is going to come across as being emotionally supportive for you uh, he's going to provide uh, some sort of happiness and contentment it could be I'm reading for a Virgo who's already currently in a relationship directly with a water sign and this person is providing all of those things that I just mentioned in the upright is always the knight in shining armor someone comes to your emotional aid or emotional help could be the new love uh, cups represent love and emotions following the uh, knight of cups is the ace of pentacles that I had already talked about and that's the offering it could be that you're offering love to someone new someone new comes in and offers love towards you it could be another earth sign uh, like I had mentioned before, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, male or female. Uh, this Ace of Pentacles, uh, and I like when the Pentacles show up when it comes to relationships because whatever re new relationship that possibly starts up, this relationship offers long term um, longevity, long term security and stability. All right. That's what I pick up with the Ace of Pentacles in terms of a new relationship. I still get the conflict of maybe having uh, 
two people to pick and choose from and this is the cross roads or you know feeling conflicted slightly a little anxious but you'll be all right <clears throat> uh three of swords i already spoke about and i'll speak about it again it's the ending of a love triangle uh it could be an ending of a relationship or getting over those things that i had just mentioned I only like the three of swords when it shows up in the reverse, okay? Even though it's still a painful uh, card to receive, it's, you know, these things, it's just giving me an indication that maybe something happened. There was a breakup with a Virgo or two. Uh, whether or not it was with an air sign, it doesn't really matter. Uh, but you're getting over whatever had taken place. This could be the finalization in a divorce, And then the tail end of your reading is the star card, which is the best card in the deck, right? I mean, in your spread, which is hopes, wishes, and dreams becoming fulfilled. I like that star card, okay? All right, so that's what I have for you, um, Virgo. I hope it's helpful and beneficial. Um, just want to go directly with the messages and try to keep the you know, the time of these readings to a minimum and stuff and not draw them out or drag them out unnecessarily. All right. Because, you know, I'm talking to a very, very um, smart audience and you can figure things out. And I know these are just general readings and people throwing questions like sometimes applying it to their situation and asking for more information. But this is the best that I can, you know, give you. And like I said, you're smart enough to figure things out. And then you still have enough other information that you can rely on in terms of your moon and your rising signs uh, to fill in the, any gaps that may, you know, um, creep up on you. All right. So incorporating Vera Sibylla, I have selected for you um, La Lettera, and it's the uh, card of news or the arrival of news. This is the two of diamonds in the cartomancy. So let me just read to you the snippet of what this letter, La Lettera, could mean for you. And this could be in collaboration with the overall reading, or it could be just a message for those Virgos that come to the, you know, see the video and, um, and it's for you. All right. Either or, whatever you decide to do, nothing is written in stone. La Lettera says in the book, um, excuse me, in love near cards but since i'm using this as a standalone there are no other various bill of cards that have drawn for you it indicates um romance uh, indicates a romance a love letter uh and its time frame is um very speedy so things happening very quickly um usually a week or two this is a card of communication news official documents uh that could be related to if there's a final divorce and final divorce papers came through news can be good or it could be bad on its own and it's on its own. So it could be positive or negative, but the uh, most important thing is imminent arrival of some type of news. Okay. And however that news relates or applies to you. All right, Virgo, that's what I have for you. And I hope it's uh, <clears throat> Helpful and beneficial. Uh, don't forget to, again, look at your moon sign and rising signs. And I want to wish you all a month full of light and love. Safety. Always emphasizing safety. You know, this place, uh, not this place, but this country and, and all the world is starting to get crazier. Anyway, but just be mindful of your surroundings, please. If nothing else. Okay. I got to do your uh, bi week lease. Because uh, they came up on me a little bit too fast. So don't worry. I will get them out to you. Until I talk to you again, Virgo, please be well. Bye.